finally we have our seat belts out of the car. And I'm gonna start with the rear seat seat belts since they're a lot more easier to look at and explain. So basically, right here we have an electric charge. So during the accident, there is a signal sent to that electric charge, and I believe it sets off what you hear here, these ball bearings that are in this packet. And that releases into the mechanism, and it locks everything up. And so as you see, like I showed in my uh, removal video, this seatbelt is completely locked. I can't pull it and that locks you from flying forward. Now I locked up both rear seat belt and both front. The middle seat belt in the rear uh, doesn't have any sort of retractor mechanism. It's just there and it does not need to be repaired. So that's pretty much it. These are single stage seat belts. As you see, just one electric charge on them. Now, these are some of the most intricate seat belts I've ever removed from a car. These front seat belts. As you see, I have two of them here and there are several pieces involved. So here's the main mechanism that is found behind the trim on the uh, driver or passenger side. And really, again, I'm not quite sure. I believe this would be an electric charge right here. But basically, in the accident, a signal is sent to these seat belts and what happens is through a series of mechanical and electrical things, they lock up so you don't fly forward. What my airbags will do is repair and replace anything damaged during the accident and also reset any of these modules that need to be reset. That will allow me to plug these seat belts in and reuse them again. Here you see the trim pieces that go in uh, against the uh, B pillars in the car and I'm just sending these in because it will be easier. Uh, and then this long rod is interesting. I'm not quite sure uh, what it does, but it is uh, located to the side of the front seats. And this goes under the seat and it's all attached to the seatbelt mechanism. So let's turn power to the car on. And you'll see right here, the airbag light will go through its check it comes right back on, meaning it failed its test. Now I've replaced the curtain airbag that you see here. I did not replace the side airbag yet. I do have it, and I will replace it when I have the car at home in my garage. Here in my garage. Generally, most repair shops will bill the insurance company to replace the entire SRS computer. But this is another service that this company I'm using, My Airbags, does. They'll actually repair your SRS computer by resetting it. Now all modern cars have an SRS computer and most of them are located here, somewhere underneath the center console. In order to get that airbag computer out, what you're looking at is obviously right here in the footwell. Always go back into the footwell and look at the trim pieces. On each side you'll see these little covers. Behind those covers are screws. That will allow you to take the screws out, pop these trim pieces off, and then you will be able to have access to that SRS computer. The seat belts and airbag systems are usually the tipping point for the insurance company to go ahead and say, all right, we're gonna total that vehicle. And in my case, I believe it just very well could have been the factor that totaled my S3 out. Now I'm gonna show you the difference in sending in your seatbelt and your airbag module to a company and getting them reset versus the cost of replacing everything, which is typically what most collision shops charge for, a complete replacement of everything. So the website I'll be using is called myairbags.com and they specialize in resetting and repairing seatbelts and also the SRS module, which is also commonly referred to as the airbag module. Now, before I show you the prices that my airbags charges, let me just show you what it would cost if I went and just bought the parts at my local Audi dealership. Now, uh, the parts on the Audi website are the same price that my local dealership would charge me, just a retail customer walking in. So here's our front seat belts for a 2015 Audi S3. If we go down, we look and it should be part number one on the list. So we go down and find it and here it is, a seat belt assembly and this is the left and the right. They're both $448. So that's $900 pretty much just for the front seat belts. 
All right, now let's check out the back seat belts. And we go down the list and it's the first thing we see here. It's the outer belt assembly. So the outer on both the left and the right, they should be the same piece. And we see that those are $290 a piece. So last, I wanna show you what a new SRS module costs. Every body shop I've ever been to has always told me, oh, make sure you bring us a brand new airbag module or SRS module because your airbag lights will never go off. And that is not true. Uh, my airbags will reset this uh, for a fee that is a fraction, I'm about to show you, of what this costs. This is a $744 item. If we add up everything, the two front seat belts, the two rear seat belts, and the SRS module, we get a total of $2,220. Now, of course, insurance will be billed for the labor costs to install these seat belts. And again, this will make for the tipping point to actually go ahead and salvage a vehicle that might just have about moderate body damage. But I've shown you in my past videos how easy it is to remove a seatbelt. Now let's go to my seatbelts website, and I'll show you right here. First off, we have the airbag module reset. That's $49. Now this will reset it to a like new factory condition. Basically, you take it out, you ship them your module, and they give it back to you completely cleared of any stored codes. And you always have to have your module reset after an accident involving an airbag deployment because that always locks up your seatbelts and it has a stored code for a deployed airbag. So a new module cost $744. For this company to reset it is $49. Now let's move on to the seatbelt repair. A stage one repair, which would be our two rear seatbelts, are $75 each. So two of them are $150. And here, again, $290 each, almost $600 for two seatbelts. And last, our front seatbelts are likely a two-stage repair. They might be a three-stage repair. But the reason why I use this company is because they charge the same, whether it's a two- or a three-stage repair. A lot of other companies will charge an additional amount for additional stages. And it's not the case with my airbags. So either way, it's going to be a $99 repair for each front seatbelt. So we'll do the math on everything. To get both front seatbelts and both rear seatbelts and a reset of the airbag module, the total cost is $397. If we buy everything from the dealer, the total is $2,220. That's a savings of 82%. Now that's how you keep a tight budget. You get everything repaired from a company like this and they're in the business to repair them. So it's like a good watch service. If you decided to try and work on a watch yourself, they're very intricate, kind of like seat belts. And you have a lot to lose if it's a really nice watch. As we saw, a new front seat belt is $500. If I decide to open them up and break something, it's gonna cost me a lot more to go and replace it and I lost the time. My Airbags is in the business of opening these up, repairing them, and they use all OEM parts, and they have a 24-hour turnaround time. So I'll package it up now, it will take a couple days to get there, and they'll ship it out either the same day or the next day they get it. This is by far the best way to go when it comes to repairing seatbelts and getting your airbag modules reset. <music>Let me show you what's left on the S3. Besides the paint polish, most of the paint work is finished that I know of. The lower rocker panel just needs to be attached. It was repaired and is going to be attached on there. The two front grills were popped out when it was painted. Install the rear tail lights. We need to install a new seat airbag, reinstall all our repaired seat belts from myairbags.com and also reassemble the interior. And last, this is something I haven't really showed you guys. When this car was hit in the accident, it was jarred in such a way that it actually, I don't know if you could see here, the gap between the weather strip and the interior of the door here. And these doors just need to be readjusted. They'll be adjusted forward and should seal up perfectly. But they're out of alignment because of the impact from the accident.
Well, there you have it. Work is really almost done on the Audi S3. And once we get that module back and all the seat belts back installed in the car, the airbag light will go up, which is really one of the number one things they look at during a salvage vehicle inspection. I hope this video helped you understand the cost associated with replacing these things versus repairing them. I put all the information for myairbags.com in the description box below. And I hope that if you ever have a rebuild project like this, you consider repairing your SRS module or airbag module and repairing your seatbelts as it's quite a bit more cost effective than having it all replaced. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button as one of the very next videos I'll be doing is how much this total project cost me. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.